Cutting the level of carbon emissions from industry has been the driving force behind the European Union's battle against global warming. In order to hit a 20% reduction target by 2020, they came up with the idea of a carbon market. Great in theory, but after eight years, the project is at risk of going up in smoke. Some believe it was doomed from the start. It's always been dead in the water. It's really time for the EU now to put its um, energy and impetus in alternative policies. Um, and that's what investors want to see before they all flee away. The EU ETS is not synonymous just with climate action. There are many other things that the EU could be doing. The EU emissions trading system, the world's largest carbon market, was set up in 2005. The idea to put a price on carbon and let industry decide whether to clean up their act or pay for their own emissions. The problem, the price of carbon has slumped from nearly 30 euros a tonne in 2008 to less than 5 euros and with it removed any incentive for companies to invest in cleaner technologies. This German steelworks company just over the border from Strasbourg decided the way forward was to invest heavily in green technology. As a result, it's cut its CO2 emissions by 25% since 2005 and is leading the way in the electric steelmaking industry. We have been implementing a very strict discipline about this uh, carbon consumption and we are still on the market. We are still producing steel and we are still making profit at the end of the year. In, a, in this industry where it is so difficult to make profit at the present time. BSW is one of the success stories, but it hasn't come cheap, particularly in a recession when competing against American and Chinese companies who don't operate in a carbon market. In order to fix the current crisis, the European Commission proposed intervening in the market to prop up the price of carbon, calling on MEPs to back the plan. I'm really worried and unsure, uncertain about what the future holds. Maybe this week's vote sends out a signal that Europe is turning its back on doing anything about global warming and no longer cares about the future, about the need to develop these low-carbon technologies. If that's the case, then we are cutting our own throats. But fears that an increase in the carbon price might boost energy costs, which would then be passed on to consumers, resulted in MEPs voting against the proposal. I voted against because uh, this is uh, a short-term solution which is not really a solution. Uh, I think that ETS is facing problems but that they need structural changes. More than half of Britain's Tory MEPs also voted against the plan to howls of hypocrisy from their coalition partners. The Liberal Democrats say David Cameron's claim to care about the environment, highlighted by this trip to the Arctic, is now all but a distant memory.